and good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Hopefully you're staying dry from all the rain and the storminess that is in the forecast today. That's why I'm putting it at a level four out of five as we are watching for scattered to widespread strong and severe thunderstorms, mainly a wind and hail threat, but can't roll out some tornadoes and very heavy downpours leading to flash flooding. That's something we're also watching. You can see 90% of our area here under that enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five. That's widespread severe thunderstorms. The further the further east you go, that threat diminishes slightly, uh, but not terribly. Uh, you can see we might get a brief break this afternoon from some of the activity before it starts to pick back up as we get on the other side of sunset with highs expected to be in the lower 80s. Here's that morning wave of precip moving its way out by later in the afternoon. We get that break and then much more activity uh, right behind it. Again, right on that leading edge is where we could see the worst of that thunderstorm activity. Then behind all those severe storms, primarily a very heavy rain threat, hour after hour of heavy rain. But at least by tomorrow morning, we're starting to dry out and we're looking at overall not a bad Memorial Day. Here's that first batch of showers and storms pressing out. We get that break for a short time before wave number two starts to move in here with more chances for strong to severe weather into the overnight hours. But I think by 2, 3 a.m., most of the threat is now out of the area. It's primarily heavy rainfall. And by the time many of you are waking up, uh, most of that rainfall coming to an end. Uh, severe winds, that's the biggest threat. Wind gusts over 75 miles an hour where you see the hatched area. Uh, that's a it's dangerous straight line winds could result in some damage. Also have a hail threat as well, but not as great. And a tornado threat. We could see some spin-ups. Already saw many spin-ups across western portions of the state earlier today. Uh, highs today, upper 70s to right around 80. Lows tonight will dip into the mid 60s with those widespread showers and storms. Watch for flash flooding tonight after it gets dark as we fall into the 60s for our overnight lows. Overall, the extended forecast is relatively great. Memorial Day as a whole should be OK with some scattered showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms, but it will not be anywhere near what we're dealing with today. Rest of the week looks fantastic. Low humidity, lots of sunshine and slightly below average temperatures.